saber is a single bladed, one handed curved sword with the blade being the wide side. Opposite of something like a sickle type of chopping weapon, the saber was used for cutting and slashing. It has been a cavalry weapon throughout the Middle East, Europe, and America from the Ottoman Wars all the way to World War II. However, as early as 400 BC, the Thracians, modern day Bulgaria, used a long single-edged curved battle sword called the Ramphae. This was a long curved two-handed sword. The term Ramphae came from the Greeks. It's the same word that John used in the book of Revelation to describe the second coming of Jesus Christ when a sword came out of his mouth. He used the word Ramphae. By the Byzantine-Bulgarian Wars, which began in 680, which lasted 675 years to 1355, the Ramphae involved into a smaller one-handed single-edged curved sword and the success of this sword began to spread. Chinese foot soldiers had been using a straight single-edged one-handed sword since 400 AD and it evolved into a saber type of sword by 500 AD. Japan of course created the katana by 900 AD possibly taking some design from the Bulgarian one-handed Ramphae. In 700 AD, the Turco-Mongol saber evolved throughout Turkey, Bulgaria, and Romania. And this brought about the modern saber. First use of the word saber was Serbian, Croatian, Slavic word. The Hungarians used the word sabia. Turkish expansion from 1300 moved the Magyars further west into Europe. Following the fall of Constantinople during the Fourth Crusade in 1204, the Turkish expansion from 1300 on moved the Magyars further west into Europe. And Western Europe embraced the Sabia. In France, they coined the name Zabia and defined it as a medieval back sword. At this point, Turkey, Bulgaria, Greece, Poland, Romania, France, and eventually England adopted the Sabia as their cavalry sidearm by the 1800s. By the Napoleonic Wars, the term saber evolved in England and was the commonly used light cavalry sidearm around the world, including America at this point. During the American victory in Tripoli during the first Barbary Wars, example of the saber was given to officers of the U.S. Marines and Mameluk type of saber, and this became the U.S. Marine sidearm to some degree even today as a ceremonial sword. And to date, the saber was the most commonly used cavalry weapon ever known. It's a beautiful weapon. And as evil always shows its ugly head, it's weapons like the saber that allow us to defeat it. Thank you for watching this episode of the History of Weapons. Don't forget to click that subscribe button.